Hello guys and welcome to a new video and welcome to my channel where we talk about everything music from death metal to queen and everything in between. On today's video I will show you my newest mic, the Mayono PM500 mic. Full disclosure, they did send me the mic to review, but they're not paying me for this, so all my opinions are my own. Okay, so let's get started. Apparently, there's two versions of this thing. There's this guy right here, and there's also a different one, which is the same microphone, but it comes with a hard shell case instead, and with less goodies than this one. This one comes from what I see on the box. It says that it brings the pop filter, obviously the microphone, the shock mount, the table stand, and the cable. As far as I remember, the one on the case comes with the hard shell case, and no table stand. Okay, so let's talk about the mic a little bit. It's obviously a condenser mic, so you'll need 48 volts to power this thing. You need phantom power, basically. So you'll need an interface or a mixer or anything that gives you, you know, the 48 volts. So that's something you gotta think about. Okay, so apparently this mic is really cool for vocals and, you know, podcasting, stuff like that. But also, it's really good for micing up cabinets. That's what they actually want me to try out. And I was actually searching for videos on this microphone on cabinets and stuff like that, and there's none yet on YouTube. So this this will be the first one to cover that. That's pretty cool, that's pretty rad. I mean, for 150 bucks, you really can't go wrong because it comes with everything you need. I mean, a 57 and this should do the trick. Anyway, let's open this up and see what it comes with. Okay, so hop in on my phone real quick. Let's check this out. All right. So we get user manual, of course. Here's the microphone. Nice. It's nice and sturdy. It's a big capsule too. Big capsule means that you actually get a lot more volume out of your microphone, so you don't need to boost out the gain as much on your interface or even on your door. So that's pretty cool. Usually, the bigger the mic, the bigger the capsule, the less noise you get, because you know, since it's already loud, you're not gonna be boosting a lot of the gain. So that's cool. Let's see what else comes with it. Here's the shock mount. Um, there we go. This is metal, this is heavy, this is plastic, but it's pretty sturdy looking plastic. It reminds me of a, of an AKG 414, minus the price tag obviously. Okay, so this screws in, okay, and this is the pop filter. And the cool thing about the pop filter is that it's actually made to clip on to the shock mount. It's, you know, it's made for it, so that's pretty cool. I'll figure out how it works and show you in a second. And then there's a second layer, hidden drawer per se, and we get the cable that is still for the shock. Uh, yeah, that is still for the shock mount, and we have the base and the stand. So let's get everything out of the box and let's set it up. Okay, so apparently this just latches on. That's pretty good looking, isn't it? Okay, and here we go, table stand. Can you keep that in there? Yes, there we go. Nope. Okay, so you get both sizes. I don't know how that works out. It just goes in. All right, there we go. Looks really good. And here's our cable. Looks like a sturdy cable. I mean, it's now a Mogami cable. But, you know. It says high grade, low noise microphone cable. Okay. And it's XLR to XLR. So that's cool. All right. So let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so here we go. This is what it sounds like on vocals. This is the Mayono PM500 right here and it's kind of out of the shot because of the fact that this is a, you know, a tiny tabletop, but um, I have no idea what it sounds like. I am just trying it out with you guys. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think. But yeah, this is what it sounds like. I mean, it's really cool that it comes with a pop filter. I might be a little bit far away from it, so let me just 
fix that real quick. I'll just fix the angle on it. That should be a little bit better. Again, I can't hear it. I, you know, I'm just talking to it and I'll figure out what it sounds like in post. So let me know what you think. But, um, you know, just by looking at it, it looks pretty cool. But um, I already have a ton of vocal mics. So these guys asked me to try it out on guitar, which is, you know, that's what this channel is mostly about. So let me put that in front of the cabinet and let's see what it sounds like. All right, so here we go. There's the microphone right there. It's facing the speaker, the lower um, left speaker, and it's a little bit off axis. So it's not right in the middle because I don't want it to be that harsh. Um, again, I haven't even checked it out yet, so I don't know what it sounds like, but it's there. Um, the SM57 is not plugged in, as you can see, and I am going straight from the guitar to the Freedman and out of the cabinet. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> I mean, as far as testing goes, that's the best we can do. I mean, I could probably move it farther away a little bit, but, you know, that's pretty much where I want to keep it if it sounds good. Um, two things I would definitely recommend Mayono do. The mic, as light as it actually is, it kind of tilts forward. I mean, the bass is pretty heavy, but once you bring it up all the way up, you know, it gets a little bit top heavy, so it tends to just, you know, move back and forth. So what I had to do is I had to counterbalance it with my pedal board. I mean, it works, but I'd rather not do that. And also, I, we could use some rubber feet on the bass. That would be awesome, just to get it out a little bit, you know, from the top of the desk. You know, that can definitely scratch it up if you have like, you know, a very nice, very shiny desk. That would probably put a dent on it. Other than that though, for 150 bucks, it looks like a really cool product. Let's see what it sounds like. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And if you guys enjoyed the video, please drop me a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel like a man if you haven't yet. And if you enjoy the content and you want to help support the channel big time, just make sure you hit the join button down there or go visit my Patreon. A little goes a long way and we surely do appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Pat out, middle on dudes. Thanks, Mayona. You guys rule.